All right, welcome back, guys. Uh, today we've got a kind of a fun little summoning session. It is our Nat 5 day, which is always really, really fun. Um, they only come around every so often, so whenever I have one, I want to make a video about it. Um, so we're guaranteed Nat 5, which is kind of cool. And then we've got just a couple more scrolls. Nothing too uh, extravagant. Not any way, uh, shape, or form a guaranteed Nat 5 from other scrolls. But Nat 5 day, so that'll be fun. Um, we're going to go to the surprise shop, and we're going to splurge just a little bit in... I don't know, in terms of how I splurge, like, we've got a couple crystals, we'll buy a LD, I don't know if it's worth it, but we'll buy a Legendary, probably not worth it, we'll buy a Cookie Scroll, probably not worth it, so that's a lot of purchases for me in terms of uh, crystals, so we'll, uh, uh, I don't know about that, we'll see, probably not. But other than that, that's kind of what I got. This is my priority. And then anything that costs mana is awesome. Like, just having these available whenever I want is really, really nice. Um, I just want to make sure I buy all the XP ups before the event ends. Because they'll stay for, like, 100 days or whatever. Which is really good. Um, so we'll add those to our little summoning session. And we'll, uh, we'll see what we get, you know. I've not yet spent my uh, Legend reward yet. Because, you know, I could pull Gianna, of course. Like, duh. That's, like, the most logical thing uh, I could do, right? It could happen. So this is probably my last two cookie scrolls. Um, I didn't buy any of the packs because I don't buy Nat 4 packs. Like, the, the you could get a Nat 5. No, no. They sell, you actually get a Nat 5. And if you are wanting a cookie thing, I think, just buy one of the Nat 5 scrolls and wait till, you know, they're in the... I mean, you can even get the cookie from the Nat 5 scrolls, right? Like, you could buy the... I don't, I don't even see it anymore. Maybe it's still here. There was a legendary scroll you could buy. Maybe it's gone. Or a, a uh, transcendence. But you could just buy that and have a better shot at getting it than buying the Nat 4 version of the scrolls. It's just my personal opinion. Um, and really, I haven't even been buying the uh, transcendence scrolls anymore because <clears throat> I pretty much have most of what I need. And I feel like they give you enough Nat 5s to have a pretty good chance of getting them eventually. Unless it's some sort of targeted scroll, like the choose one of eight, or the Ancient Transcendence, where you're guaranteed to get something new. I feel like $100 for a dupe is feeling a little steep these days to me. Um, but anyway, before we summon, here are what I'm looking for. I keep one of these scrolls so I can check easily. I want this guy, even though he's way out of the meta. I might want this guy post-buff. I don't know yet. Um, he might be bugged with the way he revives with, with Shizuka, with the way that interaction works, maybe. Um, but not a lot in fire. Water's where I want all my stuff. Um, hey, gang. Bulwark, I think, is my most wanted, just for kind of a PvE slash a little bit of PvP. And then I think Abelio is also really good, so I'd like him. So those are my ones in water. And then Wind, these are kind of luxury items that I don't really need, but I wouldn't mind having. The Jemire would be nice, just have another speed lead. The Wind Monkey, I think I'm not quite tanky enough to make good use of a Wind Monkey, but I think it'd be nice to have. And then the Charlotte is also a pretty good PvP monster um, that I don't have, but I probably wouldn't use. This also post-buff, I wouldn't mind either, so... That's where we're at. Let's go ahead and get into the summonings, and we'll get started. We don't have any blessings, so it doesn't really matter what order we do them in. We'll do water first, because that's what we're hoping for the most. Do a 10 spot here. Water has the ones I would chase in stones. Wind has a couple that I would definitely not mind, but I don't desperately need, I guess. I don't know. And then any cookies or anything new is all good. Obviously, anything new is good. With the cookies, like, none of them are really good enough yet to be chase chase monsters for me. I guess I gotta do these manually. Um, but that doesn't mean anything, as we've seen in the past. Like, ooh, lightning. The odds of one of them being good enough to be a chase monster is very high. Just not yet. Like, it's... I guess it's good that they don't make them ridiculously OP to start. But they, in general have been making the newer monsters usable quicker than older unusable monsters, it seems. I'm not sure exactly why, but that's what they've been doing. I guess the reasoning is that why make something usable that everybody already has versus you can make something usable that everybody wants and then they're going to spend more money, right? Like, if you don't have an Oliver, you're probably spending money, but if you don't have a Ariel, you probably have an Ariel. <laughs> like, you've had long enough to get an Ariel, I guess, is maybe, maybe my thought there, I don't know. All right, so we're on to the normals. Should get three lightnings from these? Maybe? I don't know. We're at one lightning so far. We're a little bit under. We're doing SP summons, though. 
Mm. Cookie. All right, cool. Don't really need anything at four cookies, but when one of them gets good, having those scallops is going to be really, really nice. Because the scallops are the most rare nat 4 scallops in the game right now. Everything else we've had more than a month to accumulate. So we're two lightnings. Not too shabby. Ooh, cookie right off the bat. That's how we do it. Another espresso. Double cookie. Triple espresso. Collect all the espressos. And again, for these summons, the odds of an F5 is so tiny, tiny, that if we get one, we're really, really lucky. So, we will see. Would definitely want to do these first, just in case we need, or we get something that's a blessing um, for our Nat 5 scroll, because we don't currently have a blessing. Cool, that was a good pack. Double Expressos to start. Whoa, what is this? Get out of here. Alright, so we're, we've made our rates, we're fine. Um, yeah, we've got as many lightnings as we would want, so anything extra is just a bonus. Taoist? I remember those red Taoists used to be something I actually looked forward to because I was like, I'll skill up this and this and this. Like, my future Hay Gang. And then I got a Hay Gang. Or not a Hay Gang, a, uh, what's his name? The guy that makes people live forever? I can't remember. But it's not Hay Gang. It looks like Hay Gang, but it's not Hay Gang. All right, so we got a dead pack to compensate. Two more. All right. So we're done with Mysticals. We've got two LDs, one Legendary, two Cookies. And then the net five. So we're gonna do the LDs first, just so we can get our Geod out of the way, and we can give her a skin, and that'll be really fun. Um, but yeah, no, there's no way we're getting a Geod. But that's okay. That's okay. We'll do an SP summon because it has a good chance of being something new, even the net fours. Otherwise, it's at HOH most likely. All right. And one more. Hey, we beat the odds like crazy. Ooh, <gasps> ooh, that's really, 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 really good for me. Um, because I have Han, um, and this is a really high base speed attack bar booster that doesn't require, um, doesn't require much because he boosts by 50%. You, you can't see it here, but this is one of my most wanted, uh, nat fours. So that's awesome. That's really, really good. I'm very happy with that. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, we'll go look at him in a little bit when we see what else we get. So we'll do our legendary first because it cannot be an, a LD nat five, whereas the cookie scrolls can technically. Um, so let's see what we get. Man, that's a good that's a good pull. That's a good pull. Let me take those. Who we got here? Ah, the pumpkin. Always arriving and never wanted. Um, so of these we don't really care. LD Nat 4s. Um I mean obviously any Nat 5, LD Nat 5, LD Nat 4s, but the odds of any of that are very low. So that's what we want. Um, let's go. Cookie scrolls, two cookie scrolls. We get espresso. Are you blue? You look blue to me. You appear to be blue. Yeah. I forgot they do their little talk, because I very rarely summon them like this, one at a time. So they always have their little thing they say. All right, final cookie scroll probably of the collab. Let's see what we get. Cookie. Espresso. You look blue to me. Double blue. Yeah. So I didn't get any um, any LD Nat 4 Espresso, whatever, any of these. I didn't get any Nat 5s from the things. I got this blue one from just normal scrolls, which was the one I wanted the most, so I was pretty happy with that. It's not quite there. Um, in terms of being good enough, this cooldown's a little long, and it's just a little bit of a sit there monster, but it's close to being good. If they buff it, it's gonna be really good. Um, so it's really, really, really close. All right, our nap five, which is pretty exciting. I've also finally got enough of this, but I don't have something I wanna summon yet, sadly, so we'll see. Um, but let's see what we get for our net 5. The odds of being a dupe are super, super, super high. Because I think we have like 70% of the net 5s in the game. So, with no blessing, a non-dupe is a 3 out of 10 kind of a deal. So that's a huge win if we get a non-dupe. Odds are a dupe, which is fine. Um, but yeah, so that's that's kind of where we're at. So let's see what we get here. Boom, net 5, let's go. Who are you? Ooh, I already have you, but you're really, really, really good. No reason to keep a second one um that i can think of but i mean that's a really good really good monster but again a dupe um probably my my second most recently pulled monster and i've already got one all skilled up so that was our map five um but of the summoning session the huge win is the frigate right <clears throat> like oh we can't quite awaken it that's sad 
But, I mean, this, attack bar by 50% each and the cooldown, like, this with Han and Yanhong is good times. Um, I'm really, really happy for this. This might be a new best swift set kind of a thing. It would make me change what I do just a little bit. Um, but it's got the stun. It's got that, which doesn't really matter. But, like, yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. So looking at my LD situation in the nat 4 range, because nat 5 is really, really tough to come by. Um, here's the light. So out of light, I don't really see anything on this row that I need. There's, I mean, you know, I, I wouldn't turn them down, but like this guy'd be okay, but not in any way relevant for RTA. Iris, I would take. Tableau is a really probably my, the best one in light that I'm missing. Let's see, is that correct? Yes. I mean, Lee, I'd take. Kinky, I'd take. But I think Tableau is the best that I'm missing. Then Kinky. And that's about it. I don't think Iris is really relevant. And Leah's only PvE. So there's two light ones that I need. Out of dark. Um, let's see. No, no, no. I can't believe I don't have him. What just didn't have didn't do it when that was around. I would definitely take a Kung Fu Girl, but that's a little more fun. This guy I would take, because I missed him on the HOH. Um, and he'd work well with Han. Not perfect, but he'd work pretty good. And then other than that, it's all just guild stuff, I think. So the frigate was I mean, that was perfect. Like, having Frigate and Beta, I think, is going to be really, really good. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, you know, as that's as good as it could have gone. So we're really happy um, with the summoning session in general. So that is it for me today. Um, anybody that is either about to summon their free Nat 5 or getting close, good luck. And I will catch y'all in the next video. Take care, everybody.